Okay, so today I'm going to be working on um, one of these dry points that I actually did. Uh, it's by Print Studio, so it's a uh, it's dry point along here. It's um it's actually a picture of Maiden Castle in Dorset, and I've got a whole series of them. But this one actually didn't work out very well. Um, I collaged in this piece of glue originally, and it just doesn't work. It's too dark. Um, so what I did was I carefully cut along the bottom here. And I gently peeled it away and it did come away, thankfully. So I was now left with this kind of rather plain print. I do like this bit here. Um, it's got a lovely kind of texture to it, lovely green colour. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to add some sky. Um, I'm going to add some soft pink and then hopefully some sort of textured um, grey as well um, to kind of get some, get some sky in there, really. Uh, I'm going to be doing it by hand. Um, with my oil paints. So, first thing I'm going to do is roll out some, I've got some uh, kind of very, very soft peachy pink there. And I'm just going to get a nice roller full of it because I think I'm just going to roll it on straight onto the image. So, I'm going to use my big roller here. So I'm rolling and picking up, rolling, picking up, rolling, picking up, and I'm starting to get a nice even colour on my roller. Um, so I'm going to now try and put that onto my print. So this is just plain um, etching paper now. There might still be a little bit of ice glue on it, so we will see if the colour goes on all right. Okay, so we're getting some colour on there. There is a bit of texture there, which is coming through. So I'm trying to get nice even colour. Even-ish, anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, roll out some. This this is a sort of um, almost a greeny, yellowy grey, and it's not that dark. So we'll see if it works. But I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to roll some out here quite thickly because I'm going to trying to be hand printing straight onto etching paper, which We'll need a fair amount of ink. It's not like trying to hand print with really thin paper like tissue, which I often do. So the first thing I'm going to do is roll the ink out, and then I'm going to take some ink off to make some nice textures, I hope. Just roughly figuring out how much I need. So I want to be from there to about, so I need a bit more. So I just tend to do this by eye. I quite, I quite like these roller marks, these up and down roller marks, because um, they often kind of have a nice, they almost look like rain sometimes, and they just add a, a linear element, so I might even add a few more in there, that's quite nice. Yeah, I like that. So now I'm going to take, I'm actually going to take some kitchen towel, I think, this time. You could just use a rag, anything you've got to hand, really. I'm going to take some of that off, although I actually... I really kind of like these roller marks here. I, I love this mark here and here, so I think I'm just going to take a really small amount off actually, just to kind of get a sort of softness to it. And I think what I'm going to do is actually take it off the edge here. So we get a nice soft edge. And hopefully that pink will show through. So 
so instead of putting the ink on a roller here, I'm actually, what I'm putting on this piece of plastic is going to be printed onto the sheet of paper. So I want to get it really right. Okay, I'm going to give that a go. So all I'm going to do is take my picture and print. And I'm going to, oh, yep, yeah, don't drop it. I'm going to just by eye place it over my ink. So about there. I love I love these lines on the edge so I kinda wanna get those on the print. Checking a bit. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Baron, which is just a, a tool to apply pressure, and I'm going to apply pressure to the back. I'm trying to get even, trying to get all to the edges in every corner. You do have to hold it steady with the other hand because it can slip. Okay, I'm just going to have a little look, see how we're doing. Some lovely textures going on there. Unexpected. Um, I didn't plan for this kind of area at all. I think that's probably the leftover rice glue from when I originally collaged in. And uh, some of the marks that I actually kind of wanted to keep, the nice lines haven't actually come out. But that's okay. I can work with that. So because I kind of like what's left on here, we've got a bit of the pink's gone on to the grey and we've taken some of the grey off. I'm just going to take what's called a ghost print. I've got some spare tissue here, some tissue paper. I'm just going to see what ink I can get off before I clean up. Because sometimes these are great for collage paper, sometimes they start a whole new print just on their own. And sometimes they don't work out. <laughs> okay. Just gonna show you. So that is actually a really nicely textured little bit of tissue there. So I can use that for collaging. I think I'll probably do that. <laughs> 